Hello, so let's get in some voices this morning now. Joining me is uh, my colleague Akshita Nandgopal, who has been one of those fortunate ones to be at the Indian Space Research Organizations and watch that live. Akshita, it's written in your history book now that you were there. You can say it to as many people as you can. Also joining us now is uh, Shakil Ahmed. He's uh, the director of the Spark Astronomy, specifically with regard uh, to imparting education to children. They are going to be the future scientists now. Akshita, first over to you. Yes, there are celebrations there must have been tell us about that but the real job begins now it's about the Pragyan rovers experiments and that will be the knowledge that uh, ISRO has really sent the mission to the moon Very true. Good morning, Pooja. And uh, yes, I'm still pinching myself that I was there yesterday. I got a glimpse of the celebrations that broke out live. I was amazing. I can tell you that, you know, the warmth that you felt from the scientists and uh, the fact that, you know, they were all out there celebrating, I think that made it that much more better. This massive accomplishment for all of us in the country. Uh, you know, focusing on Pragyan rover, we had that amazing video that showed the rover making its way down the slide. You know, we've shown so many representative videos, so many images of that to actually see the video of it happening on the surface of the moon was unbelievable and really something that we will never ever forget. Uh, that rover is right now going across the south pole of the moon. We had told our viewers yesterday about how it's leaving a mark of the ISRO logo as well as of the Ashoka emblem on the surface of the moon. So we quite literally put a mark on the south pole of the moon before any other country could have. Very importantly, of course, besides all the photographic evidence that ISRO scientists have been able to gather so far from Chandrayaan 3 will be the takeaways from what Pragyan rover really finds. Now, from experts who I've been speaking to also, they've been saying that, look, Pragyan rover is loaded to the teeth. It's about 27 kilos, will be moving around, but also has equipment to study the soil, to study the surface of the moon. Besides, of course, that all important question that all of us have been asking. Is there going to be solid evidence that comes in of water molecules on the south pole of the moon? It's highly likely. You know, when I've spoken to NASA experts as well, they've said very clearly that if you're going to find water anywhere, it's going to be on the polar sides of the moon, which is why there's a possibility of actually getting it in the south pole of the moon, particularly because you have a lot of craters there. It's a very, very rugged surface. And in these craters, there's a possibility of water being found in the frozen form. Are we going to get anything out of that is a big question. Remember that the rover puja is going to be going around for 14 days, 14 Earth days, which is one lunar day. There's a possibility of that being extended as well. Essentially, the rover is feeding off sun. It's solar powered. But what they're hoping to do is kind of charge the batteries in 14 days from now. If it works, great. You'll have another 14 days uh -huh. to actually research what's on the moon's surface. If it doesn't, you're still 100% mission success and a mission successful. Lovely. Thank you so much for that perspective and what is expected next for the Indian Space Research Organization. Thank you so much, Akshita Nandgopal, for the latest on that.